Yeah, what up? Yo, people keep asking me how I'm the only one in my family out of seven kids who has Tourette's. I don't know. But I have a theory that we were born in a very particular order. It's my oldest sister, and then two years later, my next sister, and then two years later, my brother, and then two years later, my sister, five years later, me, two years later, my sister, two years later, my sister. Yo, you left me inside too long. I overcooked. I feel like I'm performing for two different crowds right now. This is Def Jam, this is church. You guys need to pick it up. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here is like, we love comedy. You guys are like, we're gonna pray for him. <laughs> gonna pray the Tourette's right out of him. A lady tried to do that after a show. She came up to me. She was like, I could pray your Tourette's away. I was like, please don't touch me. <laughs> she said, I could do it. Prayer works. I said, no, it doesn't. She said, yes, it does. I said, no, it does not. She said, yes, it does. Why would you even say something like that? I said, because 15 seconds ago, I prayed for you to walk away. And then she walked away, and I was like, oh, damn, prayer work. It just takes a minute. That's why I can't go outside. Bad things happen. I was at a party recently, primarily black party. Cops came through. They opened the door. They saw me in the back. They got worried. Because I was wearing this, probably. I look like an H&M mannequin. The cops came straight to me. They were like, son, are you okay? I was like, I'm fine. These guys are my friends. He said, uh, no, for real. Are you okay? I was like, yeah, these guys are my friends. He said, blink twice if you're in danger. I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> nope, we in danger. My black friend was in the back. He panicked. He lost it. He was like, Ron, he's got Tourette's. He's going to blink. We all going to jail. <laughs> I'm Samuel J. Conroe. Thank you. I'm so happy. You brought it. You deserve to be here. Uh, I bumped into you uh, at last night. I actually saw him on the street and I said, you need to make it to the finals. We need to have a comic in the finals. I think you delivered the performance tonight that'll get you there. I think America's got to get on board. You are funny. And that's Thank all you. you need to do. Mel B, I have to say I really needed a good belly laugh. This is my favorite performance of the night. I've got to give it to you. I was laughing, 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 laughing. Your witty, your timing, just everything about you. I just love you. Uh, thank yes. you so much. Heidi, you know that I really like you as a person, and I think that the jokes were better, but you know, Mel is laughing so loud. I want to laugh so loud, too, at the jokes, and I'm, I'm still struggling with that. But you have so many fans. So good. But you have so many fans, and America loves you, and I hope they prove me wrong. Thank I you. wish that for you. I appreciate you. Simon? I think it's the hardest thing to do, to come out following a production like we had before with all the fire and all the roller skates. You come out on your own, 3,000 people, and you've got to nail it. And you did nail it. You did. Um, and it is hard. And you know what, Samuel? It's not just the fact that you're funny, I think people like me, like you. There's something about you. I think you need this break. That's what the show's designed for. And I think we're going to see you in the finals. I've just got a hunch. So many people have come up to me and asked me, where is he from? That accent is the coolest thing in the world. And what are your people at home watching TV thinking right now? Yeah, I don't know where the accent comes from. Nobody in my family sounds like this. Honestly, I think I was just blessed with swag. 